Hugh Hefner called up Diddy and was like, man, why didn't you make some of them girls your girlfriend, man? You should have put some of that stuff out in the opening. You know what I'm saying? Put that stuff out in the opening. And it, 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 it stuff is smaller when you bring it to the table. It's easier said than done. But those who bring stuff to the table or what they do, it becomes smaller. You know what I'm saying? When a shot person fought, accidentally fought, it's like, how dare you fart? But when a person that's always like the class clown fart, you don't even think nothing of it. You're like, oh, you crazy. You know what I'm saying? So when you up front with stuff and just put it, it makes it so smaller. But when stuff is in a secret, you know what I'm saying? If if Diddy was like, man, I'd be, you know, I'd be doing this and doing that. And women, you know, at my parties, man, I they be laced up, man. They want me to put all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? If you put stuff to the to the forefront, that stuff would become small. I ain't saying, you know, he ain't do no wrong because everything you do will come back to you. But you have to, he was up front with everything at the Playboy Mansion. He had seven girlfriends at one time. All the girls was, he said he never had a girlfriend over 24 or 23, one of the ages. And he just walked around with a robe. He kept young women up in the Playboy Mansion. I'm quite sure they was doing some things up in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm quite sure he was financially helping them out. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. Now, I know they got probably got Diddy on some other stuff. But I'm just saying, though. I mean, it may help his case and other people's cases when they put stuff up front. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it just becomes a lot smaller when you real. You know what I'm saying? When you real and up front, it becomes a lot smaller. That's why when guys speak boldly and tell a girl, hey, I want you to be my girlfriend, and I want you to be my, my girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? When guys say, I want you to be my girlfriend, I want you to be my girlfriend. Then all of a sudden, okay, we'll, be, we'll both be your girlfriend. But when you say, I want you to be my girlfriend, oh, I love you so much, and then you really like another girl too, then it becomes bigger. I dare you do this. I dare you cheat on me. How dare you cheat on me? Oh my goodness. You ain't nothing. You no good. I was nice to you. And you could have had both of them. If you would have just said, look, I love I love both of y'all. Can I I want both of y'all to be my girlfriends? Can y'all both meet? Can can we all meet up? You know what I'm saying? Can we all meet up and just do our thing? You know what I'm saying? Can we all meet up and just become one family? But guys nowadays are so scared to speak up. These women ain't scared to tell you no. These women ain't scared to do this. Them women ain't scared to do that. Where, where the bold men at? They so scared. These guys are so watered down. And the watered down, they're promoting watered down men. They're watering these brothers down. You have to stop. You have to stop that. You got a man up, man. I don't know what's going on. But they got to stop with all this water, water stuff. You know, but Hugh Hefner, man, he, you know, he had some things going on in his mansion as well. You know what I'm saying? I think, I don't know if Diddy, what was Hugh Hefner mansion? I thought Diddy, Diddy had somebody house. Was it Hugh Hefner house? You know, I don't know if Diddy had Hugh Hefner house or something. He had somebody, that one of his mansions was somebody mansion. I don't know if it was the Playboy mansion or not, but I know it's connected to several people, you know several Hollywood actors houses and stuff but anyway you got to put stuff up front man but I'm a much love to y'all man I'm Alan Reed there man hit the like button subscribe button notification bell button follow me on Instagram at Alan Reed and show you want to holler at me one on one you know check out my music at Alan Reed in there and on YouTube Google iTunes Spotify Amazon everywhere holler at your boy the real in there Alan Reed in there stay prayed up in Jesus name because none of us are perfect it's all about connection not about perfect Sometimes when your family member hire you for that job, it's not because you really qualify for the job. It's because you connected with them. You get it? It's all about who you know. Get to know Jesus. You ain't got to be perfect. He'll still let you in heaven. You can ask the man at the cross. He'll tell you. I'm out.